This is a short video about how to position subtitles in YouTube so that uh, you can move them around the screen and put them somewhere other than the default position which is in the center at the bottom of the screen. Just in case you have some parts of the video that are important that you don't want to be obscured by subtitles that can sometimes be useful. Most of the subtitle formats used by YouTube don't give you the freedom to move the subtitles around uh, and it just defaults to the bottom position. But there is one format, EBUSTL, which gives more control. And fortunately there's a free subtitle editor that supports this format called Subtitle Edit. Uh, the version that I'm using here is the latest one available at the moment, uh, 3516, and it can be downloaded from the author's website that's listed here. One of the things we want to set up first under Options and Settings and Video Player is to select MPV as the video player. Um, if it's not selectable you can download it by pressing this button and set this to handle the preview text. That's so that when we move the text around the, the video player will show us roughly where it's going to be in the preview so we don't have to upload to YouTube before we can check that it seems okay. Okay the next thing we need is a video. Um, I set up just a very simple 60 second template video that I'm going to drag into subtitle edit. You can see it just has a, a template on it that allows us to, to position, see the position clearly where the subtitles are going to go. Um, I'm going to start the first subtitle uh, at the beginning of the video and to start with I'll just make a subtitle with a couple of lines that I've set the break myself. So I've made it in two lines even though it, it could have been one so one way to stop it overlapping parts is to uh, understand uh, how long the line is going to be and how many how many lines you need to to set the subtitle correctly. Um, I'm just going to set this duration to just two seconds because we can always pause the video to see what's happening and then the, add a second one after that. This time I'll write a very long line with no breaks play the preview so we can see what happens. Okay so it's automatically been broken into two lines because it wouldn't fit on, on one line on its own. Now I'll add a third subtitle. This time I'll see what happens if if there's an overlap. So I have a third subtitle. I'm going to change the end point of the second one so that there's an overlap. The software tells me there's an overlap now. Now reset to the beginning and play. So this According to this preview at least, both subtitles can be displayed at the same time and in this case the, the third one gets put above the second one. So now we'll save this as a standard SRT file, it's a common format for subtitles and upload to YouTube and see how YouTube displays that. I've already uploaded my video to YouTube. I'm going to add this 
subtitle as the standard captions Reload and play the video. So YouTube breaks the line slightly differently to the way our preview looked. It completes a full line before just flowing the text onto the next line, so it doesn't make the two lines equal. In this case there didn't seem to be any overlap. It's removed the, the previous subtitle when it displays the next one. So you, you don't get two subtitles displaying at the same time. Okay. So let's see what we can do with a different format of subtitle. I'm going to change this to EBU STL and I'm going to add some extra subtitles to show different locations around the screen. So I'll put a bunch of subtitles in here and then fill them in. Under this option, if you look, right click and look at alignment, you'll see that the, the alignment options are basically this array of, of nine positions. So left, center, right, and top, middle, or bottom. So I'll make some subtitles for those positions. I'll also make some with multiple lines. Okay, so I've added a bunch of new subtitles here to test out the different positions. And now to set the position that I want for each one, I just right click on it and go to alignment and then click the position that I want. So top left top left again and just keep doing that for each each subtitle I've also added at the bottom here some subtitles where they're all overlapping just to see what happens so now if you play the preview preview shows the subtitles appearing in the different places. So now we save this as STL file, EBU STL. bunch of options to set here. Um, one of them we should change is maximum characters per row but I noticed in, I'm not sure if it's a problem with this format or a restriction for this format or with the software but the biggest number I can put in here is 99 and it clips, it seems to clip the row to 99 characters. Um, most of the other things we'll just leave as the default. Now I'm going to upload some new subtitles, the ones we just made. Add a language so we will have both sets of subtitles. 
Um, I'm going to use English US for the new set. So add these subtitles, upload the file. Select the STL file. Save the changes. Now we reload the YouTube video. Change the subtitles to select US subtitles, so we get the new subtitles, and then play. So first we get the new, the old subtitles at the start. Now we get the subtitles in the new position. Notice that they start at the top on the guideline, and then the, and the next lines just flow below. The center one is text is centered, the right one right justified. The middle one is interesting. The first line goes not in exactly in the center, but just sitting on the line. The white line is the center of the image. Then the second line gets placed just below. And then the other lines just go below that, so they're not exactly centered. Same for the middle and for the right. For the bottom left, you'll notice that the subtitles move if you show the, uh, the play and pause tools. The subtitles get moved up. But then when, you, when that disappears, they drop back down again. We can put multiple subtitles overlapping. They can all be on the screen at the same time. And then they can all disappear at different times. Some of them have disappeared, some are still on. So that's it, I hope this was useful. This video that I've used as a demonstration here is also on the YouTube channel, so there's a, I'll put a link to it. So you can play around with that as well if you want. That's all for now.